This is an interesting question. We're given two particles, one with the charge of Q and the other one with essentially a neutral charge at the beginning. And when this particle comes close to it, it's going to transfer over the charge of Q. And it's going to lose that charge of Q on this side. And we're asked what Q value, a small Q, would be um, above 0 0.5, this little ratio here, would result in half of the maximum force between these two things. Well, what's really important is that we realize that the max force uh, would essentially be if we had half and half of this Q charge. If it was just split in half, Q over 2, Q over 2, then, um, then that would be how we can get the maximum force. So let's, let's write an equation for that F max would be essentially K times... Uh, Q over 2, square that, and then divide that by the radius squared. And that's our, we could simplify it, could say K over R squared times uh, Q squared over 4. And this is going to be F max. Now we only want a half of that. So if we do one half of F max, then we're just going to multiply this by half. And then over here, we could simplify this further, and we could say that we technically, on this side, we just want, you know, k uh, q squared over 8 r squared. And that's going to be um, what we want. But we're going to set that equal to the actual force. Let's try to figure out what this force is between these two, because that's kind of what we want. But we're going to need the force that we're sort of looking for on this side. So we have another K, and then we have a Q times a Q minus Q. It's going to be those two divided by R squared. And that's going to give us... Try to simplify this down a little bit, right? Um, maybe K over R squared times Q squared, uh, or sorry, Q... Q minus Q squared. And now we can, um, we can, uh, we can, we can, uh, we can solve for this stuff. So let's cancel R squared from both sides and K from both sides. And then we're going to end up with a Q squared over 8 equals k q minus q squared okay this is just kind of um setting this equal to that and getting into this line right here now we have we could set this up for the quadratic equation we canceled that okay by the way that was supposed to be a q and not a k and so now we have um we can we can uh Multiply this on both sides. So Q squared equals 8QQ Q minus 8Q squared. And then you can solve for the quadratic equation here. So let's shift this on the other side. And we're going to get 8Q squared minus 8QQ Q plus Q squared equals 0. And now... It's a negative B, so 8, negative B, but keep in mind that Q, this little Q is a variable, so this big Q is a constant, so it's actually 8Q, negative B, plus or minus the square root of B squared, well, that was just B again, uh, 64Q squared, minus 4A, which is 8, and C, which is Q squared all over 2a, which is 8. And now we can try to solve for this. Um, and let's try to pull Q, uh, q's out of this. So kind of do like q squared times 64 minus 32. This is what's inside of this thing, so that way we can pull the Q out 
and then we're gonna get d square root of 32. So it's like q squared of 32 plus or minus 8q. And that's gonna be divided by 16. And um, that's just gonna equal q, right? So we're almost done. Um, keeping in mind, this is gonna give you two answers. One of them is gonna be less than uh, the ratio we want. Try to make this a little simpler. Let's put 16q equals 8q plus q squared of 32. But if we start um, I'm gonna pull these Q's out. I don't like the Q's in there. They're making things confusing. So we're gonna go Q8 uh, plus or plus the square root of 32. And then that would of course be, um, you could do that with the minus sign as well. But anyway, so let's put the Q on this side and then let's put the 16 back on this side. Just rearranging this equation a little bit. Try to make this a little nicer. Okay, great. Now we got our. Now we got a little. Our our our, 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 our yeah. It's a, it's a ratio right there. It's gonna be sixteen. So if we do it with all positives, this becomes zero point eight five three five. And if I did it with the negative, I'm just gonna double check. Well, it's less than a half, so that's not gonna be the right answer. It would be like 0 0.146, but that's less than the half. And we want a Q above a half, so the answer is 0 0.835. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of a difficult answer, but uh, sort of shows how we can we start thinking about things in terms of static electricity.